Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to customize the forum that we created using BBPress in the last video. And we'll also be adding pages for registration so that new members can register to our forum. So let's get started. The first thing you can do to completely change the look of your forum is to change the theme. So if it is possible, change the theme of your website so that the forum looks even better. So let's go to our dashboard and uh, let's go to appearance and then click on themes and we'll click on add new. And uh, let me show you a couple of themes that work well with the BBPress forum. So there's a theme called Macbook. Let me just install it and show you how it looks. So let's activate it. And uh, now if you refresh our forum and we can see this is how our forum looks. So it has completely changed the look of our forum. All right. So let me show you another theme. So click on add new. And there's a minimalistic theme called Ruby. Let me just install it and then click on activate. All right, so now let's refresh our forum. And uh, this is how the forum looks. So we can see that the theme of our website greatly influences how our forum looks. So let's click on forums. And uh, this is how the main page of our forum looks. Now let me just install one last theme and uh, then we will start building the registration feature. So the last theme I'm going to show you is called shopping cart. So I'll just go ahead and install it. And then just click on activate. Alright, so this is how our forum looks. Let me just disable these share buttons for our forum. So we'll go to our dashboard and uh, we'll go to share this share buttons. And uh, we'll just turn this custom post types off. And uh, we'll just click on update. So now let's refresh our page. And we can see that the share buttons is no longer there. All right, now let's add a sidebar to our forum so that uh, users can log in or log out of their account. So if you take a look at the sidebars right now, if you go to appearances and then click on uh, widgets, you can see these sidebars over here and uh, we have a sidebar called main sidebar. So it has search recent posts and uh, recent comments. So if you take a look at this sidebar, we can see that the main sidebar is now activated for this forum but we need to have a separate sidebar just for our bbpress forum to make that task easier we will just go ahead and install a new plugin so go to plugins and click on add new and we'll just search for bbpress wp tweaks so just go ahead and install this plugin and then we'll activate now if you go to appearance and then click on widgets we can see we have a new sidebar over here called BB press sidebar now whatever we add over here will be displayed on the sidebar of our forum so let's first of all add BB press login widget and uh, we'll also add recent topics And we'll also give a title to our login widget. All right, so now let's click on save. And uh, let's refresh our forum. And uh, here we can see we have this custom sidebar for our forum. And it says member login over here. And we are already logged in. So it says log out and the username. And then here we have the recent topics. So this is the topic that we had recently created in our forum. 
Now let me show you how it looks when someone is not logged into our website. So let's go to forums and I'll just open this in incognito window so that uh, we can see how it looks when we are not logged in. So here we can see our member login and uh, here is the login form and here are the recent topics. Now, if someone wants to become a member of our forum, then uh, we cannot see any registration link over here. So let's add that. So in our dashboard, we will go to widgets. And if you open the BBPress login widget, we have two options over here called register URI and lost password URI. Now here you have to paste the links of your register and lost password pages. So let's create two pages and we'll just call this one register and click on publish and then just copy the link of the page and uh, then paste it right here and we'll create one more page for lost password. And we'll call this reset password and then click on publish and copy this link and paste it right here. All right, now just click on save. And now if you go to our forum, we cannot see any changes over here because we are logged in. Let's go to our incognito window and let's refresh our page. So here we can see two links, register and lost password. So if I click on register, we can see that the register page is being opened, but we don't have any registration form over here. And uh, we also have the lost password. And we don't have any content over here as well. So we'll just fix that. So we had to add contents to our register and lost password pages. So for that, you have to use the short codes of BBPress. So just Google for BBPress short codes and uh, you'll get this link. So just click on this page. And here we can see short codes for all the things that we have in BBPress. So we have short codes for forum index, forum form, and uh, topic index, topic form, and all these things. So we can add this wherever we want in our website. Now the short code we want is BBP register and BBP lost pass. So we'll just copy this short code from here and uh, we'll paste it in our register page. So just go over here to pages and we'll just edit our register page. And we'll just paste our short code right here. And update. Now if you go to our forum and uh, if you click on register, we can now see the registration form. So we'll do the same with our lost password. So just copy this BBP lost pass short code from here. And we'll open the reset password page. And we'll just paste our short code right here. And then click on update. Right now, if we click on lost password, you'll get this uh, reset password form over here. Now, if you try to register a new user over here, it may show you an error message. So let's just add some username. And if I click on register, we get this message called user registration is currently not allowed. So let's go to our dashboard and uh, let's go to settings and uh, then to general. And uh, here we have an option called membership. So here we have to check this box called anyone can register and then click on save. So now let's go ahead and refresh our page. And now let's add our registration info. And let's click on register and we can see that the registration is now complete. So whenever you register, you will have a secure password sent to you via email and then you can verify your account and then log in. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.